Hello, welcome to Algorithms. Uh, my name is Saurabh and today we are going to discuss about uh, real-time fraud detection using Microsoft Azure services. So in this case, uh, what we are doing is we have highlighted three different use cases. One is detecting fraudulent mobile phone calls in telecommunication scenarios, identifying fraudulent credit card transactions for banking institutions, identifying fraudulent purchases in retail or e-commerce scenarios. Now the architecture uh, that we are going to discuss is a very high level architecture uh, because all these three use case scenarios uh, are very different but uh, what we want to showcase here is that uh, what different components you need to achieve a similar sort of uh, uh, end goal but at the end of the day your business logic uh, plus uh, uh, the nature of data will be different uh, in all the three scenarios so you have to be very careful when you are uh, when you are designing your architecture but yes means from our side we uh, wanted to highlight okay uh, what is one architecture that cover three use cases and then you need to go further and drill down and uh, figure out what are the different components within architecture or sub components that you may want to utilize for your use case okay so it is very simple so in this case uh, we are using all mobile phone call metadata and that's a restriction or constraint we put on the solution that it's all mobile phone data that is coming so mobile phone call metadata is sent uh, from the source system to an Azure Event Hub instance. Once that is done, Azure Analytics job is started, which receives data via Event Hub source. The Stream Analytics job runs a predefined query to transform the input stream and analyze it based on a fraudulent transaction algorithm. Now, here, when we are talking about algorithm, it could be a normal algorithm, it could be a machine learning, deep learning, it could be anything or a simple query. It depends on your scenario. It could be very complex, it could be very simple. If you are doing a POC for just a couple of users, it could be a simple scenario. But if you are talking about millions of users and you are using deep learning, it will be a very difficult uh, 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 logic. So then stream analytics job writes the transformed stream representing detected fraudulent calls to an output sync in Azure blob storage. Okay. Now, as we said, uh, we are using different components. The components are very simple Azure event hubs for real time streaming, uh, Azure stream analytics for real time processing of events and blob storage. Uh, uh, in this scenario to store the results of stream analytics job now there are alternatives as well there are many technology choices for real-time mess message ingestion for data storage for stream processing in my um, uh, past presentations I I, I have uh, presented architectures where we used uh, uh, where we used uh, real-time unstructured data and used Kafka and HD Insight and uh, 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 Databricks to process those uh, streams. So there are different, as I said, means there are different alternatives. It all depends on what you are trying to achieve on your budget, on your business case. Okay, from the uh, pricing perspective, uh, so there are three different levels uh, or sample cost profiles I would say so one cost profile is like small where you process 1 million events through one standard streaming unit per month the other could be medium so you are processing 100 million events through five standard streaming units per month and the third one is large where you are using like uh, uh, close to 1 billion events uh, through 20 standard streaming units per month now as you can see uh, the cost profile you have to design and keep that into consideration as well depending upon how many events you want to process and that's a beginning and that's a starting point it's a part of your requirement how many events you want to process because when you uh, 
when you deploy any architecture that involves message processing irrespective of vendor they have certain limitations in terms of event processing in terms of how they process event how they store events so now based on your case use case if you want to store you events for a long duration then the costing is going to be different so there are different variations depending upon your use case but in this case it's very simple i just wanted to highlight uh, the feature services uh, which can help you achieve these objectives uh, on Azure. Uh, I guess uh, from the architecture perspective, as I said, there are different. From the machine learning perspective, uh, there are different uh, fraud detection uh, machine learning algorithms. Uh, uh, you can use the DVSM as well. Uh, I have explained about DVSM in my previous presentations. Uh, you can use Power BI to to, to score and uh, visualize uh, the output from uh, uh, your analysis uh, and uh, you can use uh, uh, yeah I means there are so many options uh, uh, if you guys have any specific question around any other service or any specific use case you can drop your comments in the comments section and I'll make sure that uh, those use cases are covered whenever I have time so and you have uh, different ways of uh, fraud detection as well if you search fraud detection algorithms uh, uh, on google you get uh, millions of uh, thousands of algorithms if not millions at least thousands it really depends which one is the best fit in your scenario and what sort of uh, data you are using for testing and training uh, what is the amount of data what are your processing requirements so but at the end of the day you have to make sure you keep cost or pricing consideration and that's a very important aspect in especially in cloud services because um, if you go beyond the uh, declared uh, 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 i would say a uh, cost profile or traffic and then it is going to cause uh, other issues like performance and so on so forth then you will have to make sure you include those aspects uh, from the future perspective for instance you are starting a new business you have 1 million events now in next one or two years you will jump to 100 million events so you will have to consider those scenarios uh, to make sure you are designing the right solution i guess this is it from my side Thank you very much. Have a great day.